this video, we're going to see how to fix class cast exception. First, I'm going to show a demo of what a class cast exception is. And then we're going to look at some background in a few different scenarios so we understand what's going on. First, this is something that's probably happened to you, which is why you're watching this video. Uh, I'm going to run my project. And everything's going to look good at first. I choose that I want to create a Cavalier. Yes, it's a convertible. Suddenly, the program terminates with this message, class cast exception. So what does that mean? Well, why do we get a class cast exception? We get a class cast exception because we are casting to a type that does not describe the object. If you're not familiar with what casting is, we'll discuss that in just a moment. So we cast because we want to get access to specific methods in a subclass. Now, what do I mean by that? Uh, first, let's consider what polymorphism is. Polymorphism tells us why we have a variable type and a different object type. So a one sentence definition of polymorphism, variable type tells you what methods you are allowed to call, and object type tells you what happens when you call those methods. So the object type has to be either the same as the variable type or a more specific type, in other words, a subclass. You can only call methods that are listed on the variable type even if the object type has more methods. So if you want to get access to those more specific methods on an object, you have to cast. This is easiest to explain through an example. If we take a look, I have a quick and dirty class diagram here. And what we see is we have a superclass called vehicle with a method called go. We have a subclass called neon, another one called cavalier, and another one called Prius. These are three specific types of car. Uh, neon, which is no longer made, is a very generic car. It doesn't have a whole lot of options. A cavalier is similar to a neon, except it has one option the neon never had, and that is it can be a convertible. And then the Prius is a hybrid. So it's going to override the go method from vehicle, and it's also going to provide some special methods that are specific to hybrid. So what we see here is a very generic type called vehicle, and then three specific subclasses or three specific implementations of that type, and then a completely unrelated type called uh, string. So the source code example we have here, vehicle V equals new neon, that is perfectly acceptable according to the rules of polymorphism. The variable type is the more generic vehicle, and the object type is the more specific neon. Now, we can cast like so. We can make a variable type uh, of type neon, and we can cast this vehicle to a neon because the object under the covers is indeed a neon. No problem there. We can go from specific object types to specific variable type simply by casting, no problem. No class cast exceptions gonna occur here. Now, if we try to invoke the is convertible method on this variable, either the neon or the vehicle, it's not going to work because is, convert is convertible is a method that is only available on Cavalier, not on neon, not on vehicle. And remember the rule of polymorphism. Variable type tells you what methods you're allowed to call. So for V, the variable type is vehicle. Vehicle does not have access to this is convertible method. Only Cavalier does. So this would generate a compile error. Now, what about this? Vehicle V equals new Cavalier, V dot is convertible. Now, surprisingly, this is not okay. While the object type is Cavalier, the variable type is vehicle. Vehicle does not have visibility to this is convertible method, so this would generate a compile time error. This is not okay. We can invoke is convertible, but to do so, we have to go to a more specific variable type. So in other words, vehicle is not specific enough. We have to drop the variable type down to cavalier. And to do that, if we already have a variable of type vehicle, we need to cast that variable to a variable of type cavalier. Then we can call it is convertible because you see for the variable C, that's a variable of type cavalier. The variable tells us what methods we're allowed to call. And in this case, the variable type is cavalier. We're allowed to call this method. We're not gonna get a compile time error. 
and we're not going to get a, a class cast exception because we are converting an object of type cavalier to a variable of type cavalier. These two types are the same, no class cast exception. Okay, now what about this? We create an object of type vehicle, we store it in a variable of type vehicle, then we try to cast it to a type neon. That will generate a class cast exception because the object under the covers is a vehicle, we cannot cast it to a more specific neon. The only way to cast to a neon is if the variable is also, I'm sorry, if the object is of type neon. Okay, how about this one? Uh, vehicle V equals new Prius, and then we call the go method. This is perfectly fine, no problem. And what's very interesting about this is which method is actually gonna get invoked. You see, the vehicle has the definition of this go method, so we're allowed to call it here, no problem. The Prius overrides that go method with a more specific go method that takes into account the Prius's hybrid nature. So this is okay, it's okay to call it. And what's even more interesting is that the go method in Prius is the one that's going to get invoked because the object type determines which method is going to get invoked. The variable type only tells us what methods we're allowed to call. Okay, uh, here's another one, and this is where we typically see a class cast exception. We declare a string, and then we try to cast that to a Prius. This absolutely positively is going to give us a class cast exception because there is no relation between string and Prius. So we simply cannot take an object of type string, like we have here, and store it into a variable of type Prius. That absolutely cannot happen. Okay, let's see how we can fix our example we were working on earlier. So I'm gonna jump back to NetBeans, and I'm going to now debug through the example we were looking at earlier, now that we have a bit of context. So I'm gonna say, choose a car cavalier. And by the way, I built this project that you're looking at in a series of previous videos, if you're curious what's going on. In any case, I choose Cavalier. And now look at what's going on here. Um, I am, tr on line 59, I am trying to cast my Cavalier to a variable of type Prius. Now, I'm gonna go to debug and I'm gonna go to step over. I'm going to uh, navigate to this line number 59. And here's what's really important if you're trying to work around the class cast exception. Go to the variables tab. I'm in NetBeans now, but Eclipse and IntelliJ all have a similar tab that's gonna tell you exactly the same thing. Go to the variables tab and look at the variable we're trying to cast. The variable we're trying to cast is my vehicle. And if I mouse over, you notice it tells me what the object type is under the covers. In this case, it tells me the object is an object of type Cavalier, okay? Also, if I look down here in the variables tab, I see my, ve my vehicle is an object of type Cavalier. I am trying to cast this my vehicle variable, which contains an object of type Cavalier. I'm trying to cast that to a Prius. That is simply not going to work because we know that Cavalier and Prius are essentially siblings, but they're not a parent-child relationship. And for us to be able to cast, there has to be this parent-child relationship. Uh, and also, what we're casting to has to be the same type as the object type. This is not gonna work. This is gonna throw a class cast exception because we cannot cast a Cavalier to a Prius. So I'll go ahead and choose F8 and we'll watch as that crashes my program and I get to my class cast exception. So I'll go ahead and tell it to continue and we see that the program crashed. Now let's go back and fix this. I'm gonna go back to driver, okay? And I'm going to, I don't even need this cast to be honest with you because there are no methods that I need to call on Prius. So I'm simply going to remove it, but take a look at the next line. In the next line, we're casting my vehicle to a variable of type Cavalier. And that's okay because the object inside of my vehicle is a Cavalier. So let's save, let's debug one more time and watch this cast happen successfully. So I go to Cavalier, okay. Now let's take a look, my vehicle, uh, if I go to variables, my vehicle, we do have an object of type Cavalier. If I scroll up a little bit, you'll see that my vehicle is a variable of type vehicle, which is the superclass of Cavalier. So we cannot call is convertible 
directly on my vehicle because the variable type vehicle does not have the method is convertible or set convertible. So I choose F8 to step over. Is this a convertible? Yes. Now we're going to do the cast. Notice again when I mouse over, it does confirm that my vehicle is an object of type Cavalier, which means I can cast it to a variable of type Cavalier. So I choose F8. The cast succeeds. It does not crash the program. Then we're able to invoke this set convertible method. Now watch as I choose F7 to step into. And notice where we are. We're in the set convertible method, but look up above. We are in the class Cavalier. Okay, so F8, F8, everything runs just fine. And the program continues. I'll choose F5. Okay, and we can enter gallons of gas and uh, miles per gallon of 25, uh, odometer 10,000 or 1,000, uh, no to create another vehicle, distance to travel 100, uh, reimbursement rate per mile, we'll say 0 0.35. Okay, uh, and in any case, we got beyond, those extra prompts were what happened later in the program, but in any case, we were able to get beyond uh, the casting issue that we have before by simply making sure that we cast it to the correct type. Now, incidentally, if I did choose Prius, I would get a whole other set of options and notice that I, uh, I, I'm casting the Prius, but only if I actually uh, chose for Prius. Also, one other thing to notice is that I'm using this instance of comparison operator. What this will do is this will see if the object under the covers actually is a Cavalier I str uh, before we do the cast. I strongly recommend using instance of before casting because that will prevent a class cast exception from occurring. However, an even more important note, I even more strongly recommend using generics because generics many times will eliminate or reduce the need for casting and that's a much safer operation. It turns what would be a runtime error into a syntax error, which is something that you can catch at compile time. I'm not going to go into generics here because I have a whole series of videos that cover that. Just search my channel and you can see that. But to be honest, casting in general is a bad idea. Try to avoid it. But if you have to do it, be sure to do a type safety check first with instance of. So that's how to flip, fix class cast exception. It's also why we cast. It's also why we have polymorphism. I hope this video has been helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next. Thank you.